Thank you. Ready? Hold it. Good day to everyone. Welcome back to Mi Casa. And Mi Channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dayton. Hi. I am currently fixing up my truck that is broken. Needs a water pump. I will be moving into this in October 1st, 2022 and living full time with my truck and my camper. This is me bringing you along for all the adventures to come. Today, what's gonna happen is we are going to take some of this here wood, take this here tabletop saw, bring some of this down to about this size. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for staying tuned. That's Chloe. Hey. You're crazy. You're crazy. She's a nutcase. So yeah, today I think the biggest goal that we have is to try and get the floor framing at least cut for the Bigfoot. So I can get that out of my head and start actually figuring out design ideas. Litter box, storage, the whole nine yards. I've been working on my truck water pump for the past couple videos and I figure I should break it up a little bit. We might try and get the water pump off today if we have some time, but until then, I think I'm gonna post up and get the area set up, get my measurements done. We're gonna go ham on this thing today. First and foremost, we need to move a bunch of stuff. That's the biggest thing to do right now. So, we need to just put everything right here for now because we're not using this workspace. Camper tie downs, we can put right here for now. I'm trying to get all of that into this guy. Take all these out first. These are all getting painted. Where are we gonna put this big boat? This was included in the sale of the camper. Nice big fiberglass. I call that a fishing boat. These little seats and everything. This thing's sweet. Fed through there. Bring all this. Lots and lots of work to do. This stuff's lightweight. Somewhat easy to work with. Oh. More than enough. Look at that. 16 footer. We are going to make sure. Yeah, one and a half by one. One and a half. One and a half. One. One. One and a half. One. One and a half. One and a half. So that means we need to make all of these one by one and a half. Lovely. So what we are going to do right now is we're going to cut the one. We'll line up our guide. The one inch mark. Let's come out a little bit. Double check, lock her down, lock her down, and then double check, triple check. Cool. We're gonna start with the smallest one we have. Just start shredding her down. Nice and flat. Stay on your guideline. Don't touch that. Just be going gentle. And you, whoa. You don't want to do that. That's not, that's a no-go right there. You see what I just did, how I pulled that up? Because I was trying to pull it back. I was trying to transfer and come back. This is why you have sawhorses. I don't have sawhorses, so I'm going to use, I'm going to use a ladder. Yeah, I definitely don't want people learning to do things that way because that is not the right way. You do things the right way on this channel. Sometimes a little unorthodox, but still we'll call it the right way. So now, I'm going to jimmy this back in here. Whoop. And get it up with the blade. I'm gonna start this puppy. All right, you see that? One inch by almost an inch and a half, but we can make it work. So, let's cut a whole bunch more of those.
crucial, crucial error. I really should have closed that before it started cutting. I'm gonna regret that. Mm. Look at all this though. We are making a mess already. I have a whole bunch more of these to crank out, so let's make it happen. It is hella, hella dusty over here. So we're gonna grab our trusty, dusty leaf blower. We're gonna blow it all off. Oh, where to put the leaf blower? Let's go find it. There you are. It's all done. Take all of our measurements in here. Try and make something work. Okay, so what we need to do here, I have to measure in here, in here, in here, in here, in here, in here, here, back there, over here, over here, all the way up here. And then I have to cut each one to specification, prop them in there, get them secured. And then once they're secured, I start doing my, you know, directional framing. And then we'll move up to here if we got time today and we will frame all of this. This one's pretty easy because I just, this, is technically already ready. Throw one down there. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, foam, the insulation foam, and then kind of like a, a plywood finish for the bed, and the bed is done. This I gotta figure out how I'm gonna frame too, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, because I gotta sit. Oh boy. Yeah, there's a lot to do here. Getting a little overwhelmed. <laughs> Tiny bit overwhelmed, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. And you know what? I think to make this a lot easier, I'm just going to replace the old framing everywhere that it sat because there's basically an outline, as you can see, of all the old framing. So if I just go by that, I think we're good. So what we're gonna do is the easy way. Put our materials right inside where they used to be. That's what we're looking for here. Right here. All right. There. All right, on to the next one. Oops. Let's go 53 and a half. Say 53 and a half, so we'll go 53 and three quarters just to be safe. Stick framing this beast together, one by one. Right here, holy crap, it's actually coming together. What is that distance, that space? Betwixt you and you, nine. I wanna call that nine. Yeah, let's cut her a nine and see what happens. Listen. If you don't know how to operate one of those, it's your first time and you're not comfortable, do not do the stuff that I'm doing. I'm comfortable with that thing. I know the risks, but I'm still comfortable with it. Let's put you in between you. Hello? Hey, what's up? Uh, filming? What are you doing? I'm just That was pretty funny. I've been making this <laughs> really cheap Alfredo and I've been showing my buddies it since I've been eating it and making it. And he just called me, Dylan just called me and said, hey, I wanna, I wanna make that. So I told him how to make it. Hilarious. I love cooking. I can't wait to cook in this thing. I'm gonna get these cross members in and just keep putzing along. Forgot how therapeutic woodwork is. It's a lot of fun when you're measuring and just kind of taking things slow. Come on. Bit of an issue here. Oh, and there's a bit of crud still on there. General rule of thumb is not to force things into their spot, but sometimes it is what it is. That one doesn't want to go in at all, though. Oh my goodness.
Okay, I like that. Okay, we're gonna nail everything together so things will stay a little bit more. It's like a glorious hydration break. Best water bottles on the planet. Yeti, sponsor me. Tight like a tiger. The reason why I made the 19 is because I can kind of just plop them in here. Oh, that'll work actually. Look at our framing, this is sweet. Ooh, okay. We still need to frame in there. What do we call that? Baba boom and baba boom. I definitely will need to add a third into there, into this particular spot because it's a kitchen, it's high traffic. But all in all, I am stoked about this because we're gonna put foam cutouts down to really secure it, jab it into place. Bob's your uncle or whoever your uncle is. And sooner than later, we are going to have a floor in here and I won't need to be scared to walk in this thing. I think it's time that I take Chloe for a little run and probably a little swim actually. I think we're gonna go for a swim today. Just packed up a little towel, some water and my cute little date. We are gonna go for a little bike ride and a swim. Figured I'd take you along with me. My plan was to end the video there after I finished framing, but I got pretty bored in the house and it's really hot and I don't want to edit. So I thought we should go for a little cruise. I'll bring you along and kind of show you, show you where I swim. Nice little spot. We go for like a little 2K bike ride and then we go off into the trees and you're going to get to see it all. It's really nice. My stomach is yelling at me to get some food though so i think i'm gonna stop at the gas station and get a sandwich and before you critique me or judge me or whatever you mean these sandwiches at this so holy moly beautiful these sandwiches at this so are bomb they're homemade from this place called daniel's market and i can't even cucumbers on the sandwich like what come on man how do you go wrong with cukes on the sand you don't that's what i call a good sam Five minutes down the road and I realized that I forgot the dog's leash. Come on. Oh, I hate when I do that. We are rolling up on Sandwich Central right now. I'm telling you, these sandwiches, this is the spot where it's at right here. Stay right here. Oh, they're here. Oh my God, they are too. Turkey. Two packs of mustard. You're doing a fantastic job. I just hope they're okay. <laughs> they're wonderful. I try and get one like at least three times a week, honestly. So, thank you, my dear. What was You're your name? Felicity. Felicity, I'm Dayton. Hi, Dayton. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you again. That was Felicity. She works at Daniel's Market. She's the one that does these sandwiches. Protect her with everything. Protect her at all costs. She keeps the sandwiches alive. Sandwiches keep me alive. I keep the content alive. Protect Felicity. Okay, we're off. I'm gonna eat this sandwich though, so probably not gonna film myself eating a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got mayo, we got turkey, we got cucumbers, we got mustard, we got lettuce, and we got butter. And all else we got? A mouthful of deliciousness. Time to rock and roll, buckaroo! which takes us to Isu, which will take us to our lake. Weehoo! Oh, it's not that busy at all, actually. Sweet. Sorry, bubbas. I know it's not as comfortable, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna go slow, right? Right, Coco? 
on the road again. Just me and Chloe on the road again. If you're wondering, hey man, that trail is awfully nice. It's called the Galloping Goose Trail. It is famous on the island. It's probably famous in Canada, honestly. It's an old rail railway that used to deliver goods, I think. Goods and people from Souk to Victoria. And it's about 70K long. All sorts of people use it. Hello. I've biked from Souk to Victoria on this trail. It was grueling. It took three and a half hours, but it was really cool. This is a testament to how good this dog is at walking. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'm not even touching this. And she's just going and that's not even her normal collar. Cause she's such a good girl. And I'd pet her, but she doesn't like being close to the bike. Cause she ran in front of it a week ago. You don't chase the puppies in front of the bike. Anyways, we're almost there. I stopped him for a thirst break. He's hot. No, that's mine. That one's yours. Mm -mm. Still mine, still yours. All right, rock and roll, buckaroo. Let's rock and roll. Chloe is just drained, but she's gonna hit a second wind as soon as we start swimming. Look at Coco, I think it's right here. Careful, Chloe. Show up. Oh shit. Hi. We're not we're not interrupting or anything, are we? We're just gonna go for a quick swim. Awesome. Spot here. Ugh. Look at this. Those people just gave us a dope spot. This is like arguably the best spot I've seen. You got it. I freak you out when I jump off. Ready? Whoa, good there you go. Up here. <laughs> over to the trailer because I'm not going to have enough battery out here. Hi. Handful of groceries. Really tired me. Really tired dog. Oh. Okay. Jesus. So we are going to go cook some supper. I think we're going to have some... What, what am I making again? I think I'm making some chicken pasta again. I love me some chicken pasta. Anyways, I am going to head out. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, take her easy.